go here. So they can go up with the king next move. Let's go here and king d5. And <gasps> rook c2, rook c5. Oh my, oh my god. He had rook c2, rook c5, and bishop d6. Oh my. Oh my god. That's so bad. Jeez, what is... <laughs> that would have been the best way possible to, to, to throw, throw today's, today's uh, RCC. Holy mackerel. How did I allow that? Jeez. That Bortnik, I mean, I think I have to win this game actually. Do I have a second cam up? I do. Okay. It's Bortnik. All right, I got to win this game. Wow, I'm playing Bortnik and he's one point more. That's kind of insane, actually. I think, yeah, both cams are up, right? Yeah. Is he going to play the Black Lion again? I mean, is he, gonna, he is going to play the black lion because this is actually just bad for black. I mean, this is just bad. All right, I'm going to play h3 and rookie one and d5. I mean, this is just bad. He does it. Wow. Okay. I believe it's a5 here, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it d5? I think it's a5 here. Computer says this is losing, by the way, for black. Now, a6 is a move, but I believe d5 is correct. And then you go a6 next move. I'm shocked that Bornick plays this. Because if Bornick studied this, he would realize, I mean, this is just losing for black with correct play. Now, it's not to say that you can't win this. But in this situation, I don't know why he why he's going insane. So wait, so if I play a6, b5, bishop b3, b4, bishop a4. Yeah, I mean, I think... Isn't a6, b5, bishop b3, b4, bishop a4 takes 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 i mean again this, this should just be losing for black and i go here and then bishop a4 takes 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 g4 i mean i just take and then play rook a3 i mean like i said this should be winning for white only question is how do i want to do it because knight e2 is also moved here but i believe bishop a4 is correct and then g4 i mean okay if this is no good it's no good but I, i've got to believe in the computers and what they say about this position that this is just bad for black i have to believe the engines and if i can't play this the way a computer would then that's my own fault end of the day it's just that simple because this this line is losing by force for black and and i'm shocked Borden keeps playing it i guess he assumes that people don't study these lines for his games or something but this just this is just losing with correct play. I, I'm I'm I know this for a fact because I've looked at this line quite a bit recently. I yeah, plays Bishop D seven. I mean, maybe losing is too strong of a word to use, but this this is like plus one at least, at least if not more. Wow, I like Hikaru's position though. What is this? Can you? I don't think you could take this. Maybe you can. And he does, yeah, because you could just take on a4 afterwards. I was gonna play knight d5 here, but hmm. maybe not anymore. This is some type of Sicilian. Oh, this wasn't. This is a black lion, Philidor. I think you can play knight d5, knight x d5, and queen d5 to keep the queen to Ooh, keep the piece on the d5. Uh... I see. Then rook c8, and um, but that's a spicy move. Though. Let's put that on the board. Let's show that knight takes. Queen takes d5 chat. Ooh. But then rook c8. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of annoying. I don't really want to trade, but I think I have to trade. Mike, it's not as yeah. it's, it's weird. It's definitely weird. He played knight d5 though. And are we going to go with queen takes? Which is on the board. Wait, they had rook c8. All of this has happened. Don't it's listen here. to me. All of this has happened. <laughs> Everything has happened here. So now I don't know what to do. Man. Bishop e3 just says Bishop e3 to go for a7 pawn. Uh, I was a bit scared of c2 pawn hanging, but then if you like, if you take bishop on a4, rook a4, queen c2, then you will fall for rook c1, and in the end, the rook is hanging. Black mm. has not castled yet. That is so. correct. That is correct. There, yeah. After takes, takes. Uh, this is crazy. That's a crazy line. Let's show that actually. Very curious. This is a long line. This is crazy. It's got to be better for for white though, right? Takes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you have queen here. This is like, and you also can take the rook here. Wait, it's like mate. Something's in here, obviously. Minus nine or plus nine. 
what a game but uh, of course that didn't happen at least not yet but it should be three Bishop takes a7 is on tap. Oh, there was a checkmate. Very beautiful checkmate. Oh, there's a mate there. Let's see it. Let's see it. There was knight d4. Yes. Takes. Takes. Rook c1. I hope it was. Takes. Otherwise, Rook I'm takes. wasting your time. <laughs> no, we have to see it. We have to see these things. Here, check here. Oh. Uh, knight d4, queen d5, oh, queen, queen, queen f5. f5. Oh, yes. my goodness. <laughs> Getting off the board. Start a new game. Yikes. Beautiful. Hitting, splitting. There it is. Nice. Yeah. Very nice mate. Yeah, I mean, this is just terrible. Hard to believe the Bornik just assumes that people don't study his Philidor and he can play it randomly. I mean, he's already lost to me a couple times in this line. He's lost to Fabiano and a few others. And I mean, he's having a good result. Like, he's one point ahead of me. So there's no reason to play something extremely dubious when he's already gotten absolutely smoked in this before. Really, really strange. I, I don't even understand. So, I mean, I know Bornik is too lazy to study, like, but he has other openings besides his Philidor. This line, like I said, like I've looked at this, I've looked at this quite a bit. This whole line with this this d5, I mean, it's just very bad. Actually, I shouldn't I shouldn't highlight it now because then I'll have some kind of mouse slip and lose the game. But the line is just generally considered very bad. And Fabiano blew him off the board in one of the RCCs in it. I beat him before in this, and now I mean, barring something insane, I'm gonna win again. But just kind of weird to me. Very weird to me that he's playing the same thing. Especially because he doesn't need a win. A draw, I mean, if he draws here, he's like sitting sitting very pretty. He plays rook c2. Logical move. Thing is here, I have a lot of options. Like, rook a8, I mean, I think rook a8 and a7 is just like easy peasy lemon squeezy unless I'm missing something. I mean, Rook A8, what's his idea? Knight? I mean, ah, he wants Knight F4, I think. I think that's his idea. He wants some Knight F4 cheese, like Rook A8, Knight F4. Although even that, I just trade and go Queen B7. Make sure I'm not missing something here, because this feels too easy. And actually, that's the point I would make for you guys. Those of you who are following the Olympiad, that is one thing to keep in mind. Is when something seems too easy, generally it isn't. Like when Wesley hung a piece against Malkumian, Malkumian thought that it was a free piece, and he didn't. He just he didn't sense it. And he blundered. So when it seems too easy, you always want to step back and make sure that you're not missing something. But I, I don't think I am here with Rook A8. I just have A7. I mean, I don't even know what he's supposed to do. Knight F4 is the only try, but I can go Queen B7. I'm probably even take and play A7. Like everything's everything's uh, everything's looking good here. Yeah, it goes Knight F4, which I expected. Now the question is, do I trade or do I play Queen B7? My assumption is that I trade and just go Queen B7. I think I just trade and go queen b7 and essentially I'm asking him how does he stop the pawn the bishop is guarding it the pawn's going up the board I mean I think this is just over Yay! yeah this just looks completely over I don't even know what he's supposed to do here it's just that bad yeah it's just just over well I guess the draw now now the draw like I got a pairing that actually works out really nicely so I I shouldn't be too upset about the draw in the previous game now. Because this is about as easy of a win as you can ask for. Okay. Assuming I don't mess it up. Let's not mess it up. So A7, of course. Let's play Rook A6. Logical. Now, the key is how to finish this game in the correct manner. Now, obviously, I can move a knight. I can even just move my king, maybe. King H2 actually just looks like the E. Ah, uh, he has knight D3. Rook D1, knight C5 or something. No, but that's losing too. Now, let's just keep it simple. King H2. I just want to go rook c1, rook c8. Knight d3, I expected that. Now I go rook d1, I believe. Oh, wait, rook d1, he's got rook a7. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. I just very nearly blundered this. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> okay. Time to slow down and reset. Like I said, it's, when it's thing, things seem a little too easy, you got to be very careful. So I think I throw in this move first. I throw in the tickle, and then I go rook d1, and he can't he can't stop me from infiltration on the d and the c files. That was so bad. That would have been tragic. If I had played rook d1, that would have been a draw. Rook d1, rook a7 takes, takes, and I, I would not have won that most likely. That would have been, oh, okay, that would have been too tragic. That would have been mucho tragico. Mucho, mucho. Yeah, 
Yeah, there, there's just nothing he can do here. He's just he's just lost. He plays queen a3, which makes some sense. Um, rook d1 looks like just the obvious move that just wins the game. Knight c5, I just take. Maybe it goes d5. What? Well, I mean, I've 90. I mean, wait, not 95 because he takes. I mean, what, what is this? I just take. Yeah, this is just over. Okay, now I have 95. Oh, oh wait, actually, if I go 95, he has tricks. Wait, 95, he has rook a7. Again, guy's playing for miracle tricks. So, again, 94 looks like. 94 has got to be the cleanest. I just take and take. And if rook a7, I just go. I just blundered again. What the heck? The heck is wrong i literally just blunder i'm still gonna win the game but i mean i just i don't think and i think that i'm winning a free piece here i'm like an idiot <laughs> ridiculous okay i'm still winning but i have to be kind of careful this, this is just frustrating okay let's go here and take i mean i'm up two pawns but very frustrating yeah i'll still win the game but my gosh what an insane Thing that I just did. Okay, let's go here. Queen d6, I can just trade and go g3. I mean, I go bishop d2. I play any move except knight d4, and I win this game immediately. Now, now I win the game, but it's I just have to be a little bit careful in it in some kind of end game. So stupid. Still good enough, but mm, not thrilled. Yeah, he goes queen d6. I trade. I play like g3, king g2. And now I'm just up two pawns. I've got four v three and an outside pawn. Just no chance for black. Okay, bishop f six looks like a very rock solid move here. It's a target bishop. I can go e five and rook d eight. He has bishop e five, but I just trade bishop a three. It's a good move. Um. What's the way to win this? Is there an easy way to win this or not an easy way to win this is the question. I go check e5 and g4. I think that's winning. Yeah, I go e5 and g... Actually, wait. If I go e5, he has bishop e2. So I have to go g4 first. And then I go e5 and he, he, he can't stop it. e5 first, bishop e2, and there's still tricks. But with this order, I mean, just he can't stop it. And he's getting lobster pincered or worse in this position. Nothing he can do. This is over now. He has rook b8, which is a funny trick. But again, I'm up two pawns in this end game, so that doesn't even do anything. Donation just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. He'll probably resign here. Or he'll play rook b8. This bishop c1. Oh, he found he found a move. He actually found a move. Good for him. I did not see bishop c1. Okay, I mean, I'm still winning, but... Let's go here. Let's go bishop f4. Now, rook h8 probably works here, but you know what? I'm not really in the mood to gamble, so I'm just going to slow it down completely with this. Just bishop d4, bishop e3. I'm just going to really really slow this down to where there's just no chances because also i'm up on time so the fact that i'm up on time like i'll go here i mean he's down two pawns yeah he has to play on let's go here maybe b4 next move still competing yeah, still playing right i'm down i'm not playing well but i'm still going to continue to play in fact hikaru and bornick still going at it this is a big game where bornick is still holding and the engine is like not for long Three, four, hmm. five down two pawns. Yeah, and we have the same color bishop. So yeah, this I mean bishop d6 is not is that clean? Bishop d6, he actually goes rook uh, d8. Rook d8. Yeah, he just goes rook d8. So we don't have it. Bishop d6 now though. Oh, that's with check. E... Then he goes king e5, rook f7, f6. Six. Uh wow, interesting. Okay, so I have to check then. King f4. What the heck? So it doesn't work. Alright, we just been relaxed. Relax and chill. We got lots of moves. I check exactly. Rick A3. Do something else. Do something else. Relax and chill. 
We're good. Well, how about you just bring the king, like king of one, king, right. sorry, king of three, king e three, king uh, d three, king c four, to bring this king on the queen side. Of course. Uh, not lose any pawn on the king side, who can guard all those pawns, and right. uh, then just push b5, b6, and win that way. That's right. It's a very easy, clean way. Right? You have many ways to do it here. Did I just blunder? <laughs> I saw bishop c3, but I assumed it was nothing. Let's see. I guess I'll go here. He can't take. Probably I just go rook b3 and end the game soon. He's getting low on time. Yeah, I think I, think I just go here b5 and just end the game now. Like, no nonsense. Just end it immediately. Oh, I do like this rook, rook b3 too. You can also push b5, b6 right now. Black is going for some nice uh, tricks there. Rook h3 was yeah. a threat. Right, do not block that. And there he is, the king route, and the rook defends f3. And we just push. You can get the king to a6. Push. And white has time. He can he can donate this time to some other player if he wants. He has that 2 minutes correct. and 15 seconds that is correct. versus 40 seconds. Gornick is insanely fast, as we know, but fa being fast here is not going to help, mm -hmm. even in a position where he is uh, in the clearly lost here, where Hikaru has to figure out, obviously, the conversion. <gasps> oh, he had rook c2, rook c5. Oh my, oh my god. He had rook c2, rook c5, and bishop d6. Oh my. Oh my god. That's so bad. Jeez, what is... <laughs> that would have been the best way possible to to, to throw throw today's today's uh, RCC. Holy mackerel! How did I allow that? Jeez, I can't believe that I just did that. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so bad. I have no words. Okay, now okay, let's go here because it's checkmate. <laughs> He's gonna be very upset too when he when his chat tells him after the game. He's gonna be about as mad as I am. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, 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 oy. Okay, it's a win. I'm gonna go clear my head. I'll be right back. Holy God. Here we go. Round number. Um, this is round number eight. I'm gonna play E4. I'm gonna play something a little bit more standard here because I think I need to win this game. Oh wait, sorry. I need the second cam on. Right. Sorry. Sorry. There it is. Okay. Play something. I'm gonna play something slow. For this. I believe d4 is a move, maybe, but I I don't know if I want to do it. I'm just going to go bishop d3, c2 here. Keep this very, very simple. Ah, he plays e5. Okay, so... I guess I'll just castle here. Whoa, g... Oh, g5 is... Oh, yeah, yeah. I was not expecting that. That... Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's going all in here with g5. So now... That just actually caught me completely off guard. I wasn't expecting that at all. I should have played bishop I should have played bishop c2 first. I always do and now I do this. Wow. Really? Play bishop b5 g4 takes takes d4. Oh yeah, yeah. This is not what I wanted at all. Just great. Um hmm. Bishop b5 g4 takes takes d4. A4, bishop f3, take, take, e2. I don't know. I'm going to do it. I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to take and play d4. Just go all in here. No idea if this is good or not. Literally no idea at all, but let's, this is going to be very sharp. Which is probably what I want, because I, ne I need to win one out of the final two. That I do know. What is rook g8? Okay, so... What is this idea? I mean, I can take... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait, I also have D. Wait, there are a lot of options here. Yay! 
Yorkie's OO just took five dollars out of Bezos' huh. pocket. Thanks. Huh. What is the right move? This is interesting. Eight ninety five. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm missing something here, but I think I can just trade and take even. Let me think about this. What the heck is? Wait, wait, wait. This this looks like nonsense. I have to be honest. This looks like total nonsense for my opponent. Is he on? Maybe he's on tilt after the last. Actually, he could very well be on tilt here. I didn't even think about that. So if I take on d6, he's going to go queen f6. And that looks actually quite scary. Like, very scary. So I probably should develop somehow. Queen d3 makes sense. e6 looks wrong. Queen d3 actually looks like a pretty decent move here. Queen d3, bishop h3, knight e1. So... Huh. Let's think about this. Bishop e2 doesn't look right. Queen d3 looks like the right move to me. I don't know. It looks like the right move, so I'm just going to play it. I kind of wonder if bishop f4 was better, actually, as I think about this a little bit more. Seemed like the, the right move in a way, but whatever. It's a wild game. It's a wild, wild game. If you go c4, I go queen e3, of course. I mean, I really have no idea what's going on here. I mean, if bishop h6, I just take and go g3, and I think I'm better there. So he takes with the pawn, so now I can take. Bishop c4 obviously is wrong. Knight bd2 looks like a pretty solid move here. Knight h2 actually also. Uh, knight h2, bishop c5, queen h6. Very, very sharp. Rook d1 is also a move. Hmm. I feel like I did something wrong. It feels like I did something wrong to this position. I don't know. Something seems off. Maybe d2 is definitely a logical move, though. Maybe d2 seems like the move to me. I, I don't know if it's the right move or not, but it feels bishop h3, knight e1. Fine. Bishop c5, queen h6. Knight bd2, queen f6, though, is kind of a problem. Or is it? Or am I just insane? I can always just go b4, maybe? Okay, I don't want to think too long here. I've got I've got to make some moves, actually. I, I can't really keep tanking. Knight bd2, queen f6 is wrong. Knight h2, bishop c5. b4, a b4, 3 cb3, bishop c5. Doesn't look right. Rook d1, queen f6, doesn't look right. Knight g5. Doesn't look right. Queen h6, doesn't look right. Knight bd2, queen f6. Knight e1, maybe? Shoot, I'm taking way too long. Um, <sighs> I don't know if this is the right move. I, I can't I just can't keep thinking. I have to I have to make some moves here. I just can't keep thinking. Um, knight bd2 makes sense. Let's see, 5, queen f3. Yeah, I'm thinking really long here. <sighs> it's a very tough position. Okay, uh, I have queen h6 or queen f3. My assumption is queen f3 has got to be the right move. Although queen h6 looks pretty good too. Queen f3 or queen h6. Queen f3, queen h4, bishop c4. Pass is queen h6, rook g6, check, check. Queen h7, knight f8, queen h5. Hmm. 
Those wrong. Yeah, three there. I'm taking too long. I think I have to. I have to go here. This I might get my queen trapped if I'm not careful, but I think I'm okay. H5. I mean, I'm way down on time here, but if I get like a couple more moves quickly, I get some development. This could turn around very, very quickly. Very quickly, in fact. Six. Take the pawn, of course. Guard everything. I mean, I think I'm okay here now, but still, it's very, very sharp. I still have to make a lot of moves. I have three rook g8, bishop g5, I guess. I think. H3, knight f3, I think. Five ninety seven. I also have B four. Wait, no, not uh, not B four. Okay, just just make some moves. I mean, I want to go Bishop G five. That's my whole plan here. Doubling. What is his plan Definitely. after Rook G eight? Is he going to play Knight E one? You're right. Yep, that's about right. What else can we do? Uh... King H one. Do we just let him take it? Maybe you go King H one. It's funny, but the knight's hanging. But I mean, that is risky. And you know, Salem and he sacked. <laughs> We've seen what he did before. Like, he's sacking pieces. He don't care about none of that. But of course, mm. it, it, there he is. Rook g8. So he, bishop g5. Interesting. So he's hitting the bishop or the knight. That's a, not a good move apparently from the engine. But why? Let's see why. What h6? No, no, no. It can't be h6. Rook h6. h6 rook g2. And then what happens? Yeah, exactly. Let's get out of the way. So bishop e7 make, makes a lot of sense. Now h6 is a, is a serious threat because, you know, if you take the knight, then I take with a bishop and queen is under attack. So he goes king h1 now, h6 is on the board. Engine is lazy to move. Yeah. It says it's equal. Equal. Yeah, it's equal. You know what I mean? It's equal. Yeah, it's equal, bro. Rook takes, queen takes this check, and then queen takes f, uh, f6. It's and the I idea king here. Seven, king just seven. Wow, what a sequence i would think that you are absolutely ridiculously crazy but then at the same time when you see that the king gets to e7 and it works you're like what's my next move and you're like how is this even oh going? hikaru would absolutely play this some kind yeah. of ideas exactly because yeah. like how do you get to the king that's so that's so kind of crazy e3 i don't know i mean this has to be good for me he's he's gonna sack but this i mean this should be good for me I also have queen h6 maybe. I also have rook g1 if I just want to not have tactics. Oh, it goes queen c6. I did not expect that move. Um, let's see if I play rook a e1 maybe. Rook g2. I, I mean, again, I always have rook g1. I don't know if it's the best move. I sack the queen. Tough decision. I'm not going to sack the queen. I'm, I'm just going to force rooks off. I don't think I can lose this. I don't know if I can win it either, but I don't think I can really lose this. So if I don't think I can really lose this position, then I should go for it. Although, of course, I allow this move, which I should not have allowed at all. Great. Go here. Maybe knight h3. Maybe knight e2. I'm gonna play knight h3 and maybe knight f3.
Still very, very tricky. 92 is also a move, but whatever. Oh, bishop f4, I can take. I can also play knight f3, maybe. Seems like the right move. D8. I mean, queen c4. What, am I up a pawn here? Four, five, one, two, three. Four, I'm up a pawn. So queen c4 is probably enough to draw. It's just so hard to play, though. Yeah, he's got this, and I mean, it's still very tricky. Yeah. Um, why did I do that? Okay. Can't play knight g1. I can't take really. Got to move. You got to move. Got to move. Shoot. Takes blunders rook g2 also. I got, I, why can't I find a move? Just calm down. Find the move. Knight of four, knight of three, rookie three, rook g2 is no good. Knight of four is no good. Knight g5 takes six. No, no, takes six. Eight, 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 no good. Ay, ay, ay. This is a disaster, and I'm on the brink of losing this. I'm going to lose this game. I just blunder. I'm going to lose this game. I just flubbed this so badly. This is so upsetting. I'm really getting annoyed at myself today. Like, why am I playing such terrible chess? Like, why? Why can't I just play some good, solid chess? I mean, I could have traded off everything and saved the draw. All I need is one and a half, and I'm doing the exact same thing. Yeah, of course I blunder this. Or, yeah, this. Okay, let's go here. So frustrating. It's so frustrating. I check and go king g2. Wait. G2, queen e2. Wait, do I check or do I play queen f1? I don't actually know. I'm way down on clock here. This is so bad. I'm doing exactly what I did the other day. He's holding up. How about knight rook f2 to get the I was pawn? just about to say that. Wait, rook f2? Is that game over? Rook f2? This? Rook f2 right now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness, Rick F two. You just take it and wait. That's not uh, it. King takes takes. This was mate. So like, what is the move then? Maybe there's uh, a check Rook G eight. Rook G eight. Rook G eight. Oh, there's checks. Check, there's check, checks. Yeah. Wow, you're made it. Unbelievable. Wow, there's tricks in here for real. Hmm. Queen F one. That's nuts. So he's actually threatening this right now. That's why this is so tricky. Look at that. He's threatening it right now. Oh, he's oh, the one. Goodness. Most run. Rookie two and <laughs> stop the queen. <laughs> Rookie two. <laughs> Rookie two. Oh, that hurts. A six, king b eight, king a seven. No, it's not the same. Ah. And queen f three. Yeah, it's not there yet. Salem in a think tank. I'm gonna need a miracle save now. This is a miracle save. I believe so. I mean, this is. This feels vicious. Like it feels like you're absolutely getting made it, but it feels like you're so close to mating white. And queen g two is gonna be a nice consolidation move. No, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I could play Rick takes F2 steal at the right moment. Five? Jack apparently is losing King G2. Wait, 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 wait. B5 there? You played yeah. B5? <laughs> he played B5. Yeah, he did. Crazy. B5 on, stopping Queen crazy. C4. Right, and if Queen takes, you yeah, Queen takes H3. He had to just stop the check. What a beast. Wow. What an absolute beast. That's just creative. Queen H1. Rick F2 still doesn't work anymore. Rook D1? Is that a queen trappage? Knight G1. Wow. Queen E2? Jeez, how are you we... saving this? Oh. What? I mean, this is ridiculous. How are you saving this? Queen E2? <laughs> <laughs> how are you saving it? Like, <laughs> it's not even possible, but Hikaru is somehow saving the game. Queen E2. At least yeah, you have the on. feeling when you see his how he defends. Like, he's bringing the extra pieces from the other board. Like, he's... <laughs> He's bringing pieces from from nowhere. Yeah, like he's somehow making this a much closer game than what that we saw in the last few moves here. Salem's still in the tank. Bishop e3. I knew he was gonna find some kind of move, and now it's, it's reverse. Mm -hmm. White is winning. You have to be kidding me. 
Queenie one spotted instantly, <gasps> hitting both of these. You have lost this game. No. I am molding. I am. I would be. I mean, look at this. Anything you move, I do. Knight takes that four, right? And then I take here. You go bishop g5. Cool, cool, cool. I take that too. No. This cannot be the end for Salim in this way. Bishop e3. What a blunder, boy. What a he out trick the trickster. I think I've done that yeah. before in many games when you like. Well, let's do it this way. You want to do it so clever and precise, and you want to do it the cute way. Spend one minute for good. this, or two minutes for this, Dang. Bishop e3, to find the worst move. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to find the absolute worst move. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that hurts Solid, when you, but do you that. You're thinking, yeah, I've done that before. And you find the worst move. There we go. Yes. Oof. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh my gosh. It's a win, but I was so lost. Oh my gosh. Wait, this was... Wait, what did he do wrong? Wait, what did I do wrong? Uh, I should I should have actually taken the I should have sacked. Yeah, that that makes sense that I should sack the queen. Thank you so much to Itch Satch. Thank you so much to Flurmsy and Borky. That makes sense. I, I should have done this. And after this, Knight G one was moronic. Yeah, I should have played Rook G one and just made the draw, of course. But I do this, and I mean, yeah, I just blunder this this Knight G five nonsense, and that's very yeah. Knight G one's wrong, but whatever. We got this. Oh, Queen's. Oh, because Rook C one is Rook D one check. Oh, this is beautiful. And then check, 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 and made. Oh, that's beautiful. But he does this, which also looks great. Queen g2. Oh, queen g2 is the move to save it here, not rook g8. But I was so low on time that, like, wow. And then this is losing. And then he plays here, which is a, yeah, a huge blunder. Queen e2 is winning. I knew it. And then, yeah, everything I did was right. Okay, wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Um, what a win! Jeez, insane! All right, let's look at the standings. <laughs> uh, that was that was stressful. Okay, let's look at the standings. Five and a half out of eight. There are what three guys on five? So I assume I've got the best. I've got one of the best tie breaks. I think a draw gets me in. I think a draw gets me in.